the update, Ramina. Well, as we touched on last week, the empty homes issue is not unique to Vancouver. In fact, the situation around unoccupied or underutilized homes in Victoria is almost as bad. As Neetu Garcha reports, councillors in that city are now looking closely at the tax implemented in Vancouver, but not everyone thinks it's a good idea. From unkept yards to boarded up windows, they may be obvious signs a home is unoccupied and now more owners of vacant homes like this in BC's capital could be getting slapped with higher taxes, at least if some Victoria councillors get what they're calling for. What I've asked for specifically is that the authority to tax vacant and derelict buildings be extended to all municipalities across the province just as it has been done for Vancouver. The idea behind the 1% tax is to make more housing available and to use the revenues for affordable affordable housing initiatives. Many people are using the word crisis now in terms of talking about the housing situation in our region. We need to start acting like it. 2016 census data shows Victoria's empty homes rate is almost as high as Vancouver's, with more than 3,500 homes in BC's capital city unoccupied or underused, or 7.9% of the total. That compares to just over 25,000 or 8.2% in Vancouver. To me, it does really highlight the need for us to be looking at uh, taxing vacant and derelict properties as one part of the solution. We can't have these dwellings sitting there when we have unprecedented levels of homelessness and rent deal rates that are just skyrocketing out of control. But not everyone thinks the empty homes tax is the best or fairest way to go, including this Victoria realtor. And if we're talking about a tax on the scale of the Vancouver vacant tax, uh, there's a chance that they might just say, well, forget about it. I'm just going to sell our property. And when they decide to sell in today's market, they're not going to give it away. They're going to sell for maximum dollar. It's going to do absolutely nothing for affordability. But the door isn't closed on this. The province says it is willing to talk about legislative change. Change supporters say they'll continue fighting hard for. Neetu Garcha, Global News, Victoria. Well, we'll stay